All right. So thank you um, very much for a kind introduction. And thanks to the whole TechBlade team, in fact, for giving me the opportunity to present today whole center's developments for MicroLab assembly. And well, for the rest of the audience, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, whatever you are there in the world. And today and tomorrow, we have a unique venue, in fact, where many different um, exciting contributions will be shared from nearly all key parties active in bringing MicroLED displays from labs, lab prototypes to the commercially viable products. And today's audience certainly does not need to be convinced that these particular MicroLED-based applications further accelerated the trend to the miniaturization of semiconductor components requiring the development of disruptive technologies for both high throughput and accurate assembly of these tiny components, as well as redefining the ways how to interconnect microlets to the, for instance, backplanes or other target substrates. And today I'd like to briefly share with you um, the laser assisted solutions that we have had holes have been developing recently for both of these domains. So particularly for high throughput microcomponent assembly, as well as uh, ultra fine interconnect printing. So let me start with the, with the former, with the laser dye transfer. So there have been already many developments and thorough research conducted in the laser assisted transfer of components, starting over the years back, um, defining that for mini LEDs. And a number of talks in, uh, in fact today already have covered and will be covering some of these approaches. So I will not bother you with too many details here, but um, looking in a nutshell, categorizing existing uh, laser-based solutions for transfer, we could say that direct ablation from conventional carriers is either not accurate enough or releases dyes with the debris or residues, then thermal uh, degradation approach, although accurate in one hand, is too slow due to the kinetics of chemical processes, and last but not least, well, a blister based solution has been successfully applied to mini LEDs due to the footprint of the dyes being larger, uh, of the footprint of the blister being larger than the dye. The applicability of this approach for laser dye release from high density wafers or with the micro LEDs is questionable. And at Holst, uh, we believe we have come up with um, a unique solution uh, based on a combination of our proprietary release stack uh, and the right laser source and optics uh, we tailored that allows, in fact, mitigating the challenges um, uh, of our aforementioned approaches that I, uh, I, are listed in this slide, while still, importantly, achieving high throughput, selective, non-content and accurate release of the micro components com compatible with the uh, micro LEDs. And I do hope that uh, with the, the next few slides, I do manage to convince you of this. So starting with an, a relatively easy case uh, with the components in a domain of mini LED sizes, here we see um, a digital and selective transfer of the components um, in a, which are the size of 125 by 125 microns with our release stack technology and our uh, a laser source. And with this um, image and with this, uh, with this slide, I would like to show that uh, the approach is readily, readily uh, allows to scale down from mini LEDs to uh, closer to micro LEDs component using the same stack technology, the same, real, uh, same laser source, importantly. So it's equally applicable for mini LEDs and micro LED components. And, Speaking for the ladder for micro LED type of components here, an array of uh, 60 by 60 um, components, which are 10 micron thick, have been uh, released and transferred through a non-contact manner uh, from the wafer, which has had 20 micron dicing streets, so relatively already densely packed. Um, and in fact, the dice were transferred across the gap, which is a five times thickness of the die 
which is important that it enables uh, meeting